welcome again my name is Tahir this is Inspired RC today guys we're going to be working on the EXB I've got one last modification I need to do to this car before we take it out and that is to vent the tires really important to vent your tires guys on these bashes or any RC's that you've got I've done it to all my RC's so today I'm going to be discussing how I do that what tool I use that I've discovered that works for it and why it's important to do it so guys if you're new to the channel thank you for joining us I'll give you a quick recap of what we've done with this car so it's currently the latest version of the exp to be released in the uk we've checked the diffs on the car so it comes with all limited slip diffs now we've checked the fluid we've topped that up as well we've got a full 6s blx system out of the v4 Creighton installed on this guys it's got the 15 tooth pinion in there um, and if you look at the front we've got some led lights on the front and on the back we've got roof skid plates installed we've got some mud guards we've reinforced the body as well and we've got some protection underneath as well so guys if you do get five minutes please go check these videos out the links are going to be in the description underneath so today's video is going to be about venting tires now guys this is the tool that I use to vent my tires. This is a refrigeration access valve. It's a quarter inch made in copper and it's got a brass fitting on the end of it guys and it looks like it's soldered as well. So this is how it comes. What I do is I just remove the cap off the end and once, once the, the cap is removed, you can see we've got a nice hex shape here, which allows you to place it securely in your drill and it centralizes it as well guys and it holds it in really nice and tight so if you look on this end here you can see i've already used this for my other rcs so you can see i've already filed the ends down and made them sharp so we'll, i will show you how i do that as well so guys i was looking over this car and checking the wheels over and if you notice on this side here on the left side the pivot ball's got a bit of play in it so um what i will be doing is we'll start with this tire and at the same time i'll show you how to tighten that up and stop that little play as well do just put a tire underneath just to help so guys just before we do anything i can see I've got a little play there so all I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this nut and this is your pivot ball retainer nut. The silver part that you see behind is your pivot ball itself. To tighten that up you need a 5mm hex driver and it's just a case of tighten it by hand and I'll just make sure the bottom one's tight as well. Right, so there's no play in that. Just make sure everything's turning. Yep. Happy with that. So guys, that's something that you should keep an eye on as well. This is the wheel. Let's vent it. So guys, first job, once you've removed the wheel, is you need to seal the breathing holes that are inside the rim here. So you can just see there, there's a hole there and there tends to be a second hole on the opposite side as well. So there's another one there. What we need to do is we need to seal this. The way I seal it is I use some electrical tape, make sure it's nice and clean. And we just cut some squares. And just make sure it's stuck down well. Do the other side. Once they're done, guys, we need to make some holes into the rubber. I've got my tool inside the drill and it's secured nice and tight. And what we're going to do, guys, is we need to sharpen the tip. And the way you do that is the way I do it is I use these. This is a 
a needle file you get these in different sizes and shapes and basically all I do is I just use the file against it and I just allow it to sit on it and eventually what will happen is it will sharpen the tip and you'll get a nice shiny bit right around the rim of it guys and you can touch it with your finger and you'll know when it's nice and sharp and I tend to sharpen it probably after every hole every every two holes it does need to be sharpened now make sure this is sharp because you want a nice clean cut on the rubber get that nice and sharpened up and we'll be ready to make a hole okay so I've sharpened the tip up and it's ready to now make your first hole on these 1 8 scale tires and wheels guys I tend to put two holes in the into the tires themselves and on the larger 1 5th scale cars I tend to put four holes in and the holes tend to be opposite ends of each other what I tend to do is just pinch it and I try to drill just the rubber itself and not the form inside guys so I tend to hold it to the side like this and I tend to just drill from the side like this I don't hold it at the top and then go down because what happens is once you've pierced the rubber it will just go into the form and it will damage the form inside so I'll quickly show you how I do one hole on here so I'll hold it like this and I'll just press against it and it's just you can see there I've got a nice hole in it and because I've gone in from this angle here I've hopefully not damaged the form underneath so I've got one hole there so I'll put my finger on there and I'll just find another spot so somewhere like that and we'll do the same again hopefully it should still be sharp enough it didn't take much for it to go through that one so same again that's it so when you're using this as opposed to a drill bit it actually takes a piece of the rubber out uh, and removes it in a clean manner and um, you won't have any fraying and the water will be able to get released so guys that's one wheel done what I'll do now is I'll go around and I'll do the rest of the wheels off camera okay guys so I managed to vent all the tires now I've sealed up all the breathing holes inside the wheels and we've put two holes in every tire now to quickly show you what it looks like got one at the top there so there's two in each tire and I said I'd do four on the bigger wheels guys and the hole that's produced is around four millimeters is which is what armor suggest in the manuals as well so guys I hope you found this video helpful useful and informative and if you did please like share and subscribe and guys I hopefully we'll see you in the next video and then in the next one I'm hoping to take this out for a bash the weather's been awful lately and once that's melted guys we'll be getting this out and we'll give it a test and see how all the mods survive so guys it's been a pleasure like always and I'll hopefully see you in the next video see ya